Right, I want to bring you some breaking news uh, from uh, Russia now. Well, from space, really. But Russia's Luna 25 spacecraft has apparently crashed into the moon after it spun into an uncontrolled orbit. Now, this is according to Russia's space agency. A little earlier, it reported an abnormal situation that occurred to the spacecraft uh, when it was preparing uh, a pre-landing orbit. Now, Luna 25 was scheduled to land on the South Pole, uh, South Pole of the Moon tomorrow. That was the plan. It seems like that is uh, no longer the plan. Let's go live to the newsroom. BBC's Europe regional editor, Paul Moss, is there. Hi, Paul. So just talk us through what's happened here. Well, I think, first of all, it's important to understand what this mission was hoping to achieve. As you said, the idea of the Luna 25 mission was to land a spacecraft on the south side, the south pole of the moon, and this would have been the first time it had happened. This was important for two reasons. First of all, scientifically, it was very interesting. What the Russians were hoping to do is detect ice or water itself on the moon, which would be very important if there was ever to be a permanent moon base. However, this project was also all about prestige, and I think this is why this latest development is so important. Russia launched this space mission in the midst of sanctions and acknowledged it couldn't get some of the technical parts it would normally need for a space mission. They went ahead anyway, and at the time of the launch, there were critics who said, well, they really thought it only had a 50-50 chance of success. Now, if Russia successfully landed this spacecraft on the south pole of the, of the moon, it would be able to say, look, you sanction us, and still we're able to manage this extraordinary technical achievement. Instead, it appears that the lunar spacecraft has crashed. That's what TASS, the Russian news agency, is saying. And so that, I do think, is not going to do anything for Russia's sense of prestige at the moment. We don't know exactly what happened, but it's, it certainly was very close to the moon when things were going right. Only on Saturday, the Russian space agency was showing off about the success of the mission. It showed some photographs that the spacecraft had taken of a, a crater on the moon. It was crowing about how already it had been able to analyze some of the chemistry of the lunar surface. And then a few hours later, we were told that just as they were trying to shift the spacecraft into what's called a pre-landing orbit, there was some kind of communication problem. And the latest we've heard, the announcement from Rosnosov, the Russian space agency, they said, to put it rather bluntly, they said, as a result of a collision with the surface of the moon, the spacecraft no longer exists. That's pretty final and fundamental, yeah. I guess. Um, and, but it's not the only country uh, with a kind of rocket on its way to the moon's south pole, is it, Paul? This is the most extraordinary thing about the, this mission and indeed the development we've just heard about. At the same time, India is trying to achieve exactly the same feat, landing a spacecraft for the first time on the south pole of the moon. Their Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft actually took off before the Russian one did, um, sorry, after the Russian one did, and was expected to land on Wednesday. Now, there was clearly a race going on, and it now looks like yeah, the Indians have far more of chance of winning that race. I should say, though, that India's space agency tried this mission before, and their rocket crashed on that occasion, which shows that this isn't an easy mission to achieve. But it is also noteworthy that they, you know, the original space race was the United States versus the Soviet Union. This time it's been Russia versus India. And I cannot overstate how important space is for Russia's sense of prestige. I would argue even more than it was for the United States during the, the great space race to the moon, the original space race of the 1960s. I happened to be in Moscow when the space agency announced that they were going to allow the Mir spaceship to crash to Earth. And there was a furious demonstration outside the agency building in Moscow. I had a woman screaming in my ear, if we allow our space station to go down, it is the end of Russia. She was speaking, I think, for many in terms of Russia's sense of its abilities, its prestige, the fact that Russia sent the first man into space, Yuri Gagarin, the fact that Russia, people may often don't realize this, actually had the first spacecraft to land on the moon in 1959, an un unmanned spacecraft. They were desperately hoping to sort of re bring back to life that early sense of Russian achievement in space. And so today's news, I think, is a major blow, not just for the Russian space agency, but for Russia itself and indeed for President Vladimir Putin. OK, Paul, thank you so much for that.